Hi friends and welcome back to this week's video. So today I thought I want to continue my page from Mariola Budek and I want to, I plan to color her shirt today. So here are the uh, colors. So you could pause this video and uh, grab your colors or note this color combination down because it is a really nice um, color combination. I want to do a blue shirt today. Uh, here, by the way, I'm just quickly coloring in the hairbands, but I didn't recap the uh, colors for this part. I just grabbed a few um, gray pencils and just color it in, in any color that you like. Really not a big deal. So uh, I didn't recap this part here. Uh, however, what did I wanted to say? So... Uh, I recorded this part quite a while ago. And today I finally want to do a little bit of a voiceover chat. It is mid-May, I would say. And, um, ah, yeah, the color combination. It is a very nice blue color combination. You could use it on any other page on which you want to color something with a bluish color. Um, I used it, for example, also on flowers. Then I maybe just added a violet tint, but it's a really nice color combination. So if you like, use it on any of your pages. Yeah, and um, here I'm using the blue violet like. I will lay down my color cords uh, in, in a second. I, I forgot it when I started, but I will lay them down in a minute and as you can see I just um, taped down my page a little bit but this is actually only to preserve a nice clean edge because I really uh, like it when there is a nice clean edge and so I don't need to take care while I'm coloring. This part is beaded up a little bit but I will switch to real coloring um, yeah, in a moment. And here you can see that I <laughs> noticed that the coloring card was missing. So just laid it down. And in the first step, I'm just doing a overall layer with this blue white lake. And now doing in an overall layer with the powder blue. Just going in all those areas which are left white to preserve the highlights in this shirt. So in the creases I went with the uh, darker color and now on the highlighted areas with the powder blue. And then I will concentrate on one section of the shirt and have it in real time. And so you can see how it evolves and how to go for it. And yeah, anyway, I thought let's do a little bit of a call and chat today. A voiceover and call and chat. And um, first things first, uh, did you notice that I got 1000 subscribers? Wow, that is so insane. Really, I couldn't believe it when I saw it. Um, yeah, it's totally amazing. Totally crazy. I never imagined that uh, so many people would follow me in the end and yeah, like my stuff. So I want to thank you. I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers, but to all my uh, regular watchers, of course, as well. And um, oh yeah, this is the real time, by the way. So now we are continuing a little bit slower. And uh, yeah. It was just today that I um, uploaded a new video for you. It was my um, glitter dress, which I did with Neocolor 2 and um, the Pit Artist pants and uh, Posco, of course. And I wanted to do a glitter effect. And uh, yeah, I'm so happy that um, you like it so, so much. So uh, I got many comments on it. I'm so, so thankful for it. So happy about it and um, 
yeah, I'm, I'm really happy that you all liked it so much. I think um, maybe I should do a little bit more with different mediums. Um, yeah, I think this is uh, yeah quite interesting for you. So yeah, maybe I can do a little bit more of that in the future. However, today I thought I wanted to talk a little bit about um, the corona from yeah my point of view, how it is for me and so on. And um, yeah, so where to start? I saw a video by uh, V from Coloring at V's and she said in this video, it's it's quite a while ago, of... Um, that she is um, yeah, kind of depressed or that she was kind of depressed because of all this corona and um, of the quarantine. And um, yeah, I have to say, um, I was not in quarantine. So I have an office um, job and I work to my uh, work. And uh, yeah, it was a scary time. Uh, but I, I wasn't depressed or lonely or something because, yeah, I saw um, colleagues every day, not as many as usual, and we all got separated. So um, everybody um, as normally were sitting with two people in a room and, uh, yeah, now we got separated so that only one person is in a room. And... Um, yeah, a lot, many of my colleagues were uh, in like holidays or in home office even. So um, there weren't so many of my colleagues, but still I uh, went every day to my work as normal. And yeah, I saw people, let's say it like this. But of course, this um, time is very scary for me was very scary for me as well i was anxious of course um, because of course i also have like family that is older and yeah i can't i couldn't imagine that um, somebody would get it i was anxious about it of course and yeah i'm still am but life has to go on right and um, I can remember, and we have a co uh, a canteen. We have canteen in the um, in the company, and um, yeah, when all this started, I wanted to go to the canteen and um, just get something to eat for for myself for lunch. And uh, this was scary when all the tables were um, like pulled apart from each other. And um, normally um, on each table there is um, space for six people. And we have two tables uh, next to each other. So we have like 12 people in a line. And uh, now all the tables were... Um, yeah, pulled apart from each other and only two people could sit on this table. Um, so at, uh, at one end, one person. But when I went to the canteen, there was nobody. It was empty. There was only the, um, yeah, the guy who serves the uh, food. And uh, there was nobody in the canteen and it was so, yeah, like um, creepy. Yeah, it was really creepy, I thought. And yeah, I talked to the uh, guy a little bit, to the, um, to the cook. And um, yeah, he told me that it is really hard for him. Um, he's... Um, you know, because nobody w was coming, um, buying something, and um, yeah, so it was really hard. Um, however, 
one thing that is really um, sad with all this corona happening. Um, I think you all know Jay, the happy colorist. And, um, you know, um, we are kind of like coloring friends, coloring buddies. And we um, noticed that we live close nearby to one another. And I and we, um, we agreed that we wanted to meet, that we wanted to go to the um, Creativa. Um, this is a... Yeah, this is an ex exhibition, yeah, or a trade fair, however you want to call it. And yeah, we just um, planned to go there together and um, because she was never there and I was, uh, I was also never on the Creativa. And uh, yeah, we just wanted to use this occasion to meet with each other and have a nice day and shop a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, then all this corona happened. So all those um, events were cancelled. They couldn't um, yeah, take place. As you all know, it's all the same in all the countries. And uh, yeah, then, you know, this was quite new. Nobody knew how it would yeah, continue, what would happening or what would happen. And uh, however, then we said, okay, then let's just meet up for a coffee or yeah, get something to drink, just meet up in a cafe and um, yeah, talk a little bit and then... All the cafes were closed. We had the lockdown and, uh, you know, you were not allowed to meet other people. You know, you have to stay at home and everything. And so, uh, yeah, that's that's that. We, we couldn't meet with each other and we still can't. I mean, we could maybe because nowadays it is allowed to meet up with one person that you don't live uh, together with. But um, yeah, you know, I'm still very um, careful because I don't want to um, because I don't want to infect my father um, because I uh, see 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 him very often. I I. Yeah, take care of him, so to speak, and yeah, so it's it's really um, annoying that all this happened. I mean, it is, of course, it's annoying. It's with all the, you know, the um, people um, who loses their jobs because of it, um, who lose their, yeah, existence, and or who actually get infected with it and have a bad, um, yeah. Now, I actually don't want to speak too much in detail about this disease. Um, yeah, just, um, yeah, it was, I was really looking forward to meet with Jay and this didn't happen. And um, yeah, the stupid thing is that she uh, moved now to another city that is much farther away. And we basically wanted to meet up, yeah, before she moves to another place. So yeah, that's really sad. I have to say, really sad. I, I wish I could have met up with Jay. But yeah, I think sometime when uh, the situation is a little bit better, then we can still do it, even though we have to travel then a little bit longer. Yeah, you will see. And uh, yeah, but I'm really happy that um, tomorrow I actually can meet up with my sister and her husband. And uh, because now it is allowed to meet up with a family from another household. And so we decided that we want to see my sister and her husband and yeah 
I haven't seen her for at least two months now, but now it is, yeah, it is um, almost three months, actually. It's almost three months now that I haven't seen her. And of course, we uh, phoned a lot. Every weekend we phone for two hours and, you know, tell what happened and everything. All uh, all the news, share all the news. And um, yeah, but it's not the same, like meeting each other, of course. And um, I'm very, very happy that tomorrow, finally, I will be able to meet her again. Yeah. And then today I was at the, um, uh, what it is called, um, tailor shop. Yeah. So today I was uh, at the tailor shop because I wanted to buy a few new uh, masks, face mask, because this time will take uh, much longer, I guess, the whole year and most probably the whole next year. Or, yeah, I think it will take quite long until we are can until we can get back to normal. It will take time, and you know, I drive um, to my work by bus every day, so you know. We have to uh, wear those face masks, of course, in every shop, in the supermarket, uh, in in the trains and in the bus buses, like uh, everywhere where people get yeah close to each other, where you can't keep the distance, and um, so I wanted to have some you know, a little bit of variety with my mask, because when I have to wear them every day, I thought it would be nice to, yeah, have a little bit of variety. So, um, just, um, yeah, some mask with different um, fabric. And um, so I went to the um, tailor shop today and in the window there was hanging a really beautiful mask. It was uh, really... Um, yeah, spring-like or summery-like with um, light colors and then with a lot of colorful flowers and some nice um, um, wordings on there or writing, like something with love and yeah, I can't remember what was written there, but it looked really, really beautiful. Maybe a little bit... I don't know. So normally I would prefer a mask that is colorful, but not um, too many different colors or no flowers actually. But this mask was so beautiful that I really wanted to have one. And yeah, so I went in there when, you know, only one person allowed in the shop. So I waited for the, per for the person in there to come out. And uh, yeah, then it was my turn and... Yeah, I asked her if she uh, still had the uh, fra fabric for this mask and yeah, I told her how beautiful I think this mask is. And yeah, of course, uh, she said that the fabric is already, um, yeah, like sold, it's out of stock. And but she had one last mask of it. And so I got one. <laughs> so I was really happy to <laughs> to grab me such a nice, beautiful mask. And then she just told me that she um, got several different um, new fabric this day. And so she showed them to me. And so I could just choose uh, which fabric I like and from which fabric she would make a mask for me. And... Um, yeah, so I choose like um, three different ones and uh, yeah, <laughs> now I'm kind of happy. <laughs> I can collect them on Tuesday and uh, yeah, then I have a little bit of variety um, so that I can fit the mask with my dresses. <laughs> I don't know if this is important, but... It is not, but it is still some fun. I mean, I don't like those masks. Um, 
I mean, I look stupid with them, but still, if you can bring some color in your life, you should do it, huh? <laughs> What do you think? Yeah. Um, however, is there anything else that I would like to tell you about? Um, yeah, I actually can't come up with something now. I think um, that I will speed up the rest of the video now because um, you you saw now how I um, color this fabric here and I will do the rest of the shirt in the same manner in the same way and yeah I hope that you enjoyed the video so far if you've come so far thank you so much I really appreciate it and um, yeah I hope that you uh, yeah like it and enjoy it And I think I will give you some quiet music now. Quiet music, is this the right word? Some music um, to relax. Let's say it this way. And yeah, I hope you would enjoy the rest of the video, which is speeded up a little bit. I wasn't sure if I um, should... Um, show the whole process here but yeah I thought just yeah record it and for those of you who want to see the whole process you can for those of you who uh, doesn't want it or don't want it you can skip forward maybe and actually I wanted to have the um, the rest of the page in this third part but then I decided that the video was um, getting too long and so I decided to have um, the rest of the coloring in a last and fourth pass and uh, yeah in which I can show you how I colored those flowers and the background so that I also can show parts of it in parts of it in real time and don't have to speed up everything yeah
this is the final result of this shirt. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I will see you in the last part for this video as well. And um, yeah, I wish you happy coloring. Take care everyone and bye!